Hey guys, what is up here? James Circle here, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm a I'm I'm, I'm gonna fucking vent real quick and bitch. Um, <laughs> so James, for, for, first thing before I get into that, where 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 have I been, James? Where, where the fuck did you disappear to? I'm sure no one asked, as probably half of you guys who clicked on this video probably doesn't even know who the fuck I am, who's actually subscribed to me anyway. Um, no, I've been depressed. Okay, like not not actually like sort of depressed but no like first things first the state of dbd is just god awful <laughs> it is terrible yeah. hang on someone wanted to someone wanted to, to to interrupt my recording so before i do that look i don't edit shit when i do these types of things so you're gonna deal with it but like look okay it's gonna be worth it this little rat this rat who decided to photobomb my recording how you doing okay Rin Rin. Mwah. Go on, baby. <laughs> on another note, okay. <clears throat> first things first. Um, every new bit of content that they've released has been stale as fuck. Okay, for the literally the last four chapters, this has been terrible. That's a year worth of content. The past year, we've had the Xenomorph, the Singularity, Bitch Merchant, and the Night. Okay. <clears throat> Knight's just a shittier Skull Merchant. <laughs> Singularity's just a shittier Skull Merchant. And Xenoblade doesn't have any counterplay if your team doesn't place turrets down. I don't know if anyone could hear that clapping, but it's really annoying. Along with that, we've, we're have we basically in the same meta from like two years, three years ago, where it's just pop pain res every match. Where a singular gen will go from 90 to basically 30 to 40% progress just because of two perks, which is totally fair and balanced, by the way. Uh, considering that, depending on, like, for instance, Alien, you ain't lasting in chase long enough if they know what they're doing. Just like how Nurse and Blight still exist and haven't been properly touched. So that, that that's that's like the biggest issue with DVD right now is that it's in it's in a meta that's basically lasted for four fucking years and it's just boring. <laughs> I'm so sick of fucking pop painter. I mean, maybe maybe not actually for fucking years, but but you get you get my drift. I mean, it's not it's not enjoyable, regardless. Before it was pop, and then ruin undying. Um, but it's still just ever since the artist came out, it, it's changed a little bit. But <laughs> like I, the anti camping updates, nice and all. Like it it makes it to where some killers can't just win by face camping a dude at five gens running this fucking build. Not that fucking build. This fucking build. Like, I mean, you can still play like a dickhead with this build and still fucking 4k every match because that's just how oppressive these fucking perks are, but... Um, as, as like, and I, I hope they don't nerf made for this until they actually change some of the issue perks because it's just not fun. I don't... I can't enjoy Killer because Killer's a fucking cakewalk. If you want to win every match, you just tunnel a guy. And then if you get your ass kicked, so what? You just go next and probably bully four other survivors instead. Because this, a survivor's you, quote-unquote, lost again, <laughs> probably definitely didn't have any fun going against you, so what's the fucking point? Yeah, that, that's that's this is my main game that I've made content on for like the past couple of years. And the main game I made content on and that has grown my stream has been, just been a tiresome boring fucking effort of the same meta for four years, even though they constantly release and nerf and buff perks and shit, but, hey, <laughs> every person just wants to face camp with Bubba or something, so, hey, it's whatever. Or, again, it's just the same two killer perks. Like, I understand, right? As Survivor, you're probably gonna be running into this fucking build, right? And you're probably gonna see this fucking build every fucking game, right? Okay, do you want to know why you why why you see these perks every fucking game? Because when I try and run a funny fucking meme build, all right, I get tunneled, I get camped, or we don't ever get gins done because the other side has really oppressive perks too, but no one talks about those. Like, there's the anti-tunnel build. There's just a build where I wanted to scream and see the Auras killer every fucking two seconds. And there's just a funny Soul Guard flip-flop build. I mean... Again, I, I don't I don't have good enough friends to really run this build, so when I run it, I'm just kind of giving hook stages, but again, it's 
And and again, I used to do head on all the time. Like I loved head on, like perfectly loved head on. But it's just a, not a thing anymore. I can't run head on when half my team is dying in less than two seconds, fueling these aggressive gen regression perks. It's just not enjoy. Like there's a Sabo build. Once again, proved uh, made for this hope because if I you don't run it, then you're, you if you can't survive for two seconds at a chase, you're just gonna go down. What has every new killer done? Every every killer that gets fucking released can down a survivor in like two fucking seconds lately, except for some exceptions. And guess what? Killers get played the most. The killers who can down a survivor in about two seconds. I never would have guessed. Like seriously, think think for a moment. Right? When's the last time you've seen a twins player? <laughs> Because twins isn't fun. If it's taking an hour to down a survivor, and that's their whole fucking power is to hit a guy, go into Victor, down them with Victor, walk across the map to pick them up, only to get fucking power struggle flip flopped. I wonder why no one's playing the fucking twins. You know, you'll see Oni occasionally because he can do that. But when's the last time you've seen a demo puppy, right? When's the last time you've seen a Deathslinger, like the one that isn't shit? When's the <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you've seen a Freddy or a actual pig that's not running four slowdowns, you know? Keep in mind, right? When when have you seen a doctor just playing for memes? Bro, you wanna see my hag build? Let me tell you, it's the most oppressive hag build. Check it. Bam. I went against Yerv with this build. I know, it's really strong. And I four kid. Because the survivors on his team were dog doo doo. And it wasn't like a four man so they just four solo queue. If you're losing against a perkless hag who doesn't have their Again, you, you put scroll wheel binds on Hag, she, she's annoying as shit. I don't do that, though, because I value fun. And if I'm just in chase holding W, scrolling my mouse wheel up, I'm not having fun, right? Pretty sure I have four slow... I have aura build, but this this was... <laughs> this, is, this, this, this is what people run when they've had a bad day as killer, and it's not enjoyable. There is no reason I should be able to pick the strongest killer in the game, plop four slowdowns on, and then do that. I've not used this since uh, the kick meta, because I don't ever find a reason to play fucking Nurse, dude. I'm sorry, but anyone who plays Nurse seriously, I feel terrible for it. Fucking sue me. Uh, this this is when I played, Um, I, I think I had um, Play With Your Food in here somewhere, but this is when I played um, <laughs> Walking Nurse. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked, like I never blinked. Anyone... Um, other than that, though, other than, like, the, this game being awful, sh awfully shit, the only other game I've really made content on is Barony, and I just don't have the motivation to make Barony content, because I played the shit out of it, like, literally a ton of it with a buddy. So I'm just still burnt out on it. And, of course, I don't play Dying Light 2 anymore, I can't make walkthrough videos for a game I don't play anymore. Besides, everyone else has already done it, and probably made better content than me on how to actually use perks. Because I did that as a joke, never expecting people to actually take me seriously on a new game that came out. But hey, you know. <laughs> people had trouble, so I wanted to help. It was a nice feeling. As as for other things, uh, going through a separation, um, getting new medicine for depression, and yeah, that's that's where I've been. Also, fuck Dead by Daylight. I think I've rested my case. This game ruined my marriage. Not really, but hey, fuck this game. <laughs> um... On other things, too, we have... Okay, let's look at the challenges, right? Okay. A big issue with the challenges in this game is sometimes they straight up can throw your game. Right? That's Bond. That's just random perks. I'm glad they didn't do it with any of these, but, like, there's the ones that, like, want you to search or cleanse, like, five totems. Motherfucker, I have to get on to people, Right? Not get on, because, okay, if I'm running the killer for, like, and I've been running the killer for two minutes, and I'm injured, and I'm trying every bit way to buy time, get on a fucking generator, bro. <laughs> Seriously, if your teammate is in chase, and they are injured, don't fucking loot a chest, don't start cleansing a fucking totem, do the gins. The more gins that are done, the less people are going to die. Right? <laughs> Lauren sent me in the like, Fuck you, Lauren. I love you, but fuck you. Um, and, th and that's the biggest issue. Okay? It doesn't matter how good of a fucking player you are when your team is in the corner of the map or getting off the gin. Like, here's the thing, right? If the killer isn't an insta-down killer and you take chase for that person, 
and you like actually like sit at the pallet instead of going across the map from the gin and they decide to do the gin like they hear you on the gin you have eyesight on them so they want to stop you like again you can use the terror radius to determine how far a killer is it gets louder the closer they are if they're really close that's when i say hop on the gin not as soon as you hear a fucking heartbeat man right and again you could do the gin so much better that that is literally like see here's the issue right I can't even tell them to nerf pop pain res because half the people who play this game as solo queue survivors are god awful. I'm sorry. You don't need to bundle up on a gin together at the start of the match. Your goal should be to spread gins. Do not do a gin with someone. If the killer has pop pain res, they're regressing two of the four of the three gins that could be work being worked on, right? So, if that's the case, if you all do one gin, congratulations, that person who went down in 2.4 seconds because they aren't as good as you, will get, get, guess what? That gin's going from 90 to fucking 40. You basically lose the game if the killer knows what they're doing. Because, trust me, if they're playing Alien and you guys are all doing that same gin and no one put a turret down, you ain't lasting in Chase for a long time, I promise. But, uh... Of course, I'm kind of I'm kind of having an annoyed tone, like kind of see like a part of part of it's like really seriously like annoyed voice, but like part of it's also memeing too. Like, it, it like I sort of God, if I see one more motherfucking Claudette in a corner not doing the fucking objective, I'm gonna fucking rip my hair out. <laughs> like, dude, I don't want to like that. That's the issue of this game, all right? Because MMR has failed us so spectacularly. That I'm getting paired with a survivor who maybe has 300 hours and can't do the fucking objective to save their life. Meanwhile, I feel like the engineer who's just took out a whole battalion of, like, other things and fucking TF2, you know what I mean? Like, seriously, it's, it's awful. And then sometimes I go down in two seconds. Sometimes I'm the baby, and that's fine, man. I, I feel terrible, and I feel like I let my team down, don't get me wrong. But, like, again, it happens to all of us, and that's part of understanding... That's why, like, everyone just needs to fucking learn how to play better. <laughs> At least in my opinion, right? Because it doesn't matter, again, it does not matter how good you are. If people don't know how to counter certain things. Ugh. You have to place flame turrets. Every other killer that doesn't have a, sp a special gimmick, you need to just hold W as soon as you... If, if, they, if they aren't chasing someone and you hear a heartbeat, just leave. Don't hide. If you're hiding and you give and they find you, they get a free hit on you, and that's way worse than you just being across the map and them seeing you and you lasting way less. Because that's a free hit. You run to Shack and maybe get down. You're already at Shack if you ran first, and that's their free hit. When after you vaulted the window, maybe let's say that you fuck up a mind game really bad, and like you at least probably get the window one time in that chase. Fucking don't go in the open. <laughs> She places birds at a pallet, just leave and don't go into the direction of the birds. Uh, the fucking pick up a tape at the start of the game. Good luck with if he has speed, which every blight main does, because they are quote unquote very skilled at the game, which it's not skill at all, but whatever. Um actually fun counterplay, to be honest. You just you just gotta be smart. <laughs> Uh, try and avoid windows, try and avoid windows, don't give them blood early on, which again, four people, so chances are some guy's gonna get caught with their pants down. Uh, fucking don't group up. <laughs> Good luck if they have headphones. <laughs> Still don't group up. <laughs> uh, actually group up on, but like not together, like keep eye, like watch your teammate, you know, like watch each other. If you're on a gen and you see your teammate, you'll probably see Ghostface going for them. <clears throat> um, just drop pallets. Don't be greedy. Drop pallets. Don't be greedy. Uh, good luck if it's Scroll Wheel Hag who has a massive web with teleport add-ons. <clears throat> Ninety-nine percent of Meyer players run instant out, uh, insta kill. So if that's just top in a locker or do do a gen. Like if you last case, do do a gen in their face. They either let you do the gen or you get the more more you them. I mean, excuse me, either they let you do the gen and you get morried, or you get in a locker. Either either way. Um, overused. Just straight up overused. 
good luck. Even if you're a baby nurse, you can still 4k as long as you start hitting blinks, which is absurd. <sighs> My poor baby. Um, <laughs> uh, good luck if they have speed add-ons and fun... Actually, just look at your feet. Look at the sexy feet. The only big issues with Survivor is problematic builds such as... <laughs> Buckle up for the people and hope made for this. Here's the thing, right? If you're getting hope made for this, that means you didn't do your job right as killer. And, I mean, that that's your own fault. <laughs> Be real with you. I mean, with, with all the slowdown in the game, you, you probably should be running one but it's just not fun though i i get it like you don't want to be made to run so down I'm, I'm the same way um for the people made for this is no, no for the people and then buckle up is stupid <laughs> hopefully that gets changed the only other issue i can think of is plot twist power struggle and that's if other people are working with you to set this up so i mean that there, there's not too many problematic things. The only problematic thing is gen speed. But again, you can't even call that problematic when, again, half the killer roster and half, like, more than half the people who play killer bring a shit ton of slowdown perks. We just need slowdown perks and gen speed perks to drastically reduced, depending on how many you're running. That that's it, like, or maybe just make them their own separate tier to where it's like a Trump perk, like, so you can run four other perks, but your Trump perk is going to be a fifth perk, to where it's not insane. We don't need an insane perk, you know, for for a fifth perk slot, so it'd have to be nerfed. But a Trump perk would be cool, like, you know, hey, you know, you want to sit here and do gens really fast and also vault speed. Like, resilient, but buff it a little bit, because it's a trump perk. It, it needs to be somewhat strong, but not turbo strong. Pain res, too strong as is, maybe dump, bump it down to... I'd say 15% and give it its old effect back, if you do that. Um, or at least limit it. Because you, you shouldn't be punished as Survivor for doing the objective, uh, like, personally. Like not 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 to where you're losing twenty five percent of a gen because here here the biggest issue with that is there's four survivors there's one killer, okay, with, with how it is one survivor fucks up and goes down early there's no gens being done and then another survivor goes down and then another survivor goes down and then another survivor goes down, so you'll the games to where you're at five gens for five fucking hours is so stupid. <laughs> All right, my my rant's over. I mean, agree with opinion, disagree. I mean, give me like I I'd love to hear ideas. I mean, I'm sure everyone currently, at least a good amount of people, is incredibly bored with the meta that's lasted for basically four years. You guys stay safe. Bye bye.